Hi guys, this is Wamsi and in this video I would like to talk about some kind of basic concepts but still they are kind of important. So let's see. Suppose we have an integer variable x and like that we have created like so many variables. Only I mean like the C programmers can understand but uh, if it is a non-C programmer, the guy who doesn't know the programming, it will be difficult for him to understand, right? So what do I have to do? Not just for non programmers but even for some time sometimes for the programmers it's kind of difficult to understand so what we'll do is we'll do something called type def type def and then write the data type and then write the name that you want to do this what this will do is now instead of writing it as int x you can also initialize it as integer uh, integer x both of these are same. Now, if I equate this is equal to 2. Now, if I print it, uh, hmm. now everything goes fine and will print the value of the x as 2. while compiling I'd like to talk about something else like uh, constants there are different kinds of constants that we use in the program the way that we use so mainly there are kind of two there are the literal constants and the symbolic constants I'll be talking about those two in this program what's happening here it's taking this much time just for compiling fix here it's fine right for you guys now let's go to different concept all the literal concepts will be made like this say int x is for something where this x equal to 5 this 5 is a literal constant here that is the way that we use to directly initialize them in the program itself we won't even have to take the input from the user now what's a symbolic constant it's like uh, we'll give a name directly to it so that it can be used anywhere in the program and it can be changed like we'll define it using hash define say we all, you all guys know about the value of pi right so I'm declaring it as 3 point some 4 1 4 5 something like that now what we'll do is whenever you want to use 3 point 4 1 4 5 you can use pi instead of that so whenever you find so whenever you wanna calculate suppose say the area of circle instead of in you guys better use float here because it's a decimal value obviously now this area will be equals to that pi now instead of pi then you can write pi into r square radius square I think I guys didn't told you the what, power operator this is the power operator and this has 
priority order more than the multiplication division and the modulus so now in this first the radius square will be done and then it will multiply with the pi so you guys don't have to worry area of the circle right area is pi square right hmm. so now this will give us I think you guys got it well here the pi is called the symbolic constants we can use them anywhere in the program and it's difficult well, it's easy to find them and it's better if you write them as in capital so they'll be different from all the other things in the program and easy to find and that's it for today's tutorial guys